uh, to you. Thank you for carrying on this wonderful, wonderful laboratory with the best of the University of Texas. And, and with, you know, when we started moving to the university, I got here in 1974 as a young, good looking assistant <laughs> professor guy. <I'm> still. <laughs> <laughs> We went to the president and said, we, we want an incubator. The president said, we want new incubators. What do we want a laboratory? <laughs> so ATI started out as a laboratory for the ISIS Square Institute. And with all the people there, and I was, I was happy there at the Institute, and Austin is the result of one man's vision, George Cosmeshton, there was a little system. The only place you could get a job was great job at the university or state government. Actually, IBM had just come in. So we created ATI as a laboratory for the Austin Square Institute. Long Hill Creek was doing 15 to $20 million in grants a year. And we had started, Michael Bell was on top of, and George Kosmeski said, well, if the university doesn't want up the rulership, we'll build our own building. Ruben McDaniel said, bless his heart, right. We don't do this stuff in the business school. And so George said, well, we'll build IC Square. George came here to deem all the worth about 500 million. He had already sold Taliban. And we started IC Square as a laboratory. And that laboratory began with wealthy people who were trying to figure out what the hell we were doing. <laughs> well, when Kay Hammond hit, and we said, how do we make Austin a center for innovation and entrepreneurship? Bill Cunningham, who was now the big president, got on the airplane with Michael Dale, and we went to Forbes magazine, and Kay Hammer was on the front of Forbes magazine, announcing that also Texas had arrived. As the laboratory continued under different people, Ron Kessler helped out, I see he's here, Angelo, Angelo helped out, we were doing 15 million a year in our international group. I had just become off of serving as a credit department for uh, George, President George W. Bush. I ran a full ride for America for eight years uh, for the president. And we, all, we utilized that. We built an ATI in, in Poland. We built a building in Mexico City, but more importantly, live in Austin now. So, yes, Michael Bell in the pre days started at the top of the Institute. And then, of course, National Instruments, my great friend from Columbus, Texas, started the National Internet. And then John Mackey got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were all the money. So I want to thank you for carrying on a great position and thank the university for looking back at what we've done in the past. Because it was the Austin Square Institute and ATI that built Austin. It was not the University of Texas in Austin because until Bill Cunningham got there, they rejected everything that we tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just say this. The investment, we had something called the Capital Network. And from that Capital Network, we took all the one technology out of the University of Texas, but it was so hard. Also, we built on DOB technology and technology. Now, the greatest one is Goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> My company, we did the first genetic on the pet. And, and, we, and of course, we cashed out some, some years ago. But, but Vince, when I look at what you've done and carry on this great tradition, and then I look at the future, which is really back to the future, the grants, I am so pleased. But I'm here to announce the John Sidney Buck Award. I don't know why I'm not there yet. <laughs> and let me just tell you something about uh, the students. Uh, the award presented to a student that has an entrepreneurial spirit. That understands that wealth begins not with management, accounting, and finance, but in how best to say, the science and technology. So we went out to Stanford to start this great experiment. We saw students involved from the sciences. And of course, they do it in the sciences and not in the business school. I found it the Herb Keller chair. I mean, the Herb Keller Institute in the business school. And I got to stop and tell the joke here. We we're going to get the money from Herb Keller. He was running Southwest Airlines, also a person from our, from our ecosystem. No one there is that Herb, <laughs> University of Texas, won an uh, entrepreneurship center in business school. And uh, Red Combs, 
was there also. I heard him say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't remember, Brandon Scott. Yeah, that was it. What is he doing? So I'll tell you more something. I got an airplane to fly all over the world. I fly to Arizona. I fly to Michigan. I fly to Louisiana. I fly to Florida. Why the hell should I give you $10 million? Now, Randy McCollum said, I didn't ask you about your goddamn schedule, just write me a check. This student, this student is in that great tradition. And let me just tell you some of the things that he's done. What do you do as a student when you're involved in innovation and entrepreneurship? You get involved with the ecosystem. You get involved with all the startup process that we've developed here at the University of Texas Austin. He started Luke Medica and Clear Bath with his professor being our great British Jefferson. He participated, of course, to raise money in pitch competitions. Seal, Tarmac, Texas, Disrupt Texas. He got many, many awards. And as Mr. Jacobson was looking at him doing all of these great things, he was very, very proud, just as George, proud of, of Michael Dale, and we've all been proud of all of our, of all of our students. He now works at the Capitol, we gotta come back to Texas, I don't know why you're watching, in D.C., and he loves D.C., he works at, at Capital One in D.C. So I wanna thank Mitch for all of your service. I wanna thank the University of Texas for understanding my good buddy here, Fort Gideon, whose son played football for us also. I want to thank for changing Austin, but Austin will change again. And I think that at this time, the university is more willing to go back to the future and get the wealthy people involved as vice president, but you can't do it by grants. We need the folks who will come back in here and let's get, let's get, uh, Mike, let's get, let's get with Mike Adele at the hospital. Let's get John Mack and kick in and do a John Mack or something. So after the check, would you come forward, please? The Magos Pop, I hope I pronounced that right. Would you please come forward and receive the John Silver Butler Award? Now you gotta wear this all your life. It's a curse <laughs> and a blessing.